The SCAR is an iconic assault rifle. It's appeared in a number of popular movies, video games, and real-life family of rifles. was introduced back in 2004, and it entered the service a few years later. Now, today... The SCAR family is used by over 20 different countries. Extremely popular, thanks to all the variants that allow it to cast this very wide net. It first appeared in Call of Duty in 2009 with the original Modern Warfare 2, but has since returned a number of times and become a fan favorite, even if it's not always that good. Welcome to the page, everybody. Chaos here. Today, we're showing the SCAR love. Well, some of them we're going to show love. And I always say the SCAR is underrated. It's always flying under the radar, whether it's really good or not. Today, we rank every single one of them. Every version of the SCAR from the absolute worst bottom of the barrel to the best in COD history. Drop a like. Make sure you guys let me know which is your favorite. Rank them yourselves. There's only seven of them. And let's start off at number eight. Now, I don't know how this is going to go over, but here we go. The TAC-M in Modern Warfare 2022. Modern Warfare 2, that is. Don't understand why they keep renaming it. Whatever. Of the three SCARs in the latest COD game... The TAC-M is probably the least popular. Compared to the other SCARs, it's pretty obvious that it's the most different. This version is semi-automatic, and while it does have one-shot kill potential, it's usually passed over for a number of reasons. The handling, it's not very good. The recoil, it's a little bumpy. The fire rate cap, it's pretty low. All things considered, this rifle isn't worth the amount of time and precision it takes in order to perform well, especially when there's a whole lot of better options at your disposal. Most of the time... You're going to need to hit somebody twice in order to drop them. And while that's pretty standard for a semi-auto weapon, the handling and the fire rate really hold this back. I think of all the scars in COD history, this is pretty easily the worst one, simply because it's not nearly as versatile as the others we're going to talk about. When a weapon as powerful as a scar is fully automatic, it can be a force to be reckoned with in any situation, even if the weapon itself isn't top tier. So as you'll see moving forward, a lot of scars had really obvious flaws, but they're still really powerful weapons in their own right. The TAC-M... It was interesting as a variant. I just don't think many people are enjoying it all that much, and I don't blame you. For most of the people, it's a stepping stone to completing your challenges, and hardly anybody's actually taking it over the other two SCAR variants of the game. I could be wrong here. I could be off base. Maybe I'm biased against battle rifles, but I think the TAC-M is the worst SCAR in COD history. I'm not saying the gun is bad, but it's definitely the weakest on this list. Remember, somebody has to be at the bottom. Moving right along to number seven, we have the FN SCAR 17 in Modern Warfare 2019. Now, this version of the SCAR is a pretty mixed bag, if you ask me. On one hand, it was extremely beefy, had some really nice iron sights. It allowed you to use that gunsmith spot for something else if you wanted to. It also carried some high damage per shot and had a very quick theoretical time to kill. But, on the other hand, the damage wasn't as high as some of the other high-powered assault rifles, like the Odin, the AK-47, and that fire rate, it wasn't going to make up for it this time, which kind of put it in this weird spot in limbo where it was pretty obviously outclassed by other weapons in the game. Now, the ammo situation... It was worse than ever before in 2019 as a SCAR. It came with 20 rounds in the mag. That can only be increased to 30. On top of that, the iconic reload animation from the previous COD games had been changed to something that could not be reload cancelled effectively. Meaning, you now had to deal with the SCAR's long reload animation every dozen shots or so. The FN SCAR had some solid power per bullet. I guess the time to kill was decent, but when compared to other assault rifles in the game, you just you weren't going to use it. You had the M4, the M13. They could kill way faster. And slower firing rifles like the Odin, the AK, they were going to give you way more bang for your buck. I mean, I guess the SCAR had the best iron sights of the ARs, but if you're not actually going to use the weapon, those don't help. The 2019 SCAR was in this awkward place where it really didn't do anything particularly well when you compared it to other options you had. There really wasn't any reason to take it with you into battle. I'm not saying it was unviable, but it was one of the weakest rifles in the game, and I don't think it should get a very high placement when it's put next to all of its brothers. Before we move on, guys, if you're interested in Call of Duty daily content, news, leaks, rumors, updates, all that good stuff, check out the link at the top of the description, the new Chaos Call of Duty channel. We are on our way to 5,000 subs. Thank you for all the support on that channel. I truly, truly appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys over there. At number six, the Hammer. The Hammer in Black Ops 2. I don't know why I say it like that. The Hammer. H-A-M-R Hammer. Anyway, a lot of people forget this, but the Hammer was actually an LMG variant of the SCAR H, which explains why it had so many similarities. Visually, it looks like a SCAR on steroids, and when you look at its stats, you would say the same thing once over. The Hammer fired at 625 rounds per minute, pretty standard for a SCAR-type weapon, but it hit for a whopping 40 damage for almost 40 meters, made it virtually always a three-shot kill. 
It was also a pretty cool trait where the first seven rounds after pulling the trigger would actually come out of blazing 937 rounds per minute. A lot of people didn't know that. Allowed you to really cheese people with that initial time to kill. However, what brought the hammer down, get what I did there, in the tier list was the recoil. Despite having fantastic killing power, it was wildly inaccurate. While those first seven rounds would fire quickly, they were also bouncing your sights up and away from the target, making it really hard to take advantage of that TTK bonus. Some people did manage to get the recoil pattern down. I'm not denying the hammer was a powerful weapon once you figured it out. I mean, that quick reload, it, it made it appealing compared to other LMGs. I mean, uh, you weren't going to get killed when swapping mags nearly as often. It came with 75 rounds in the mag. The consistent three-shot kill of it, it was appealing. People liked having the power of an LMG, without all the movement penalties. And compared to the other scars in history, I think number six is a pretty fair place. It wasn't as crazy as some of the others we're going to talk about, but it was viable, maybe a little slept on. At number five, the TAC-56 in Modern Warfare 2. Latest version of the SCAR L to appear in Call of Duty. It's actually deceptively good. I was admittedly dismissive of this gun when the game came out, but now that I've had more time, I was wrong. While I still think the TAC-56 has a lot of the same issues as the 2019 SCAR had, they are greatly mitigated with some new attachments and changes to the handling. This time to kill? Solid. The lineup of attachments? You can really fine-tune it better than the 2019 version could be. I don't think it's incredible. I don't think it's top tier. But with the recent changes to Modern Warfare 2's weapon tuning, I think it's possible more people are going to give it a try. Don't expect to be blown away, but it's a very reliable rifle that's a great middle-of-the-road weapon that rarely lets you down. Sure. Won't be the best in its class, but it's going to do everything pretty well, and that's really all you can ask for in a weapon in a Call of Duty game, and that's really what the SCAR is known for. At number four, the SCAR H in Modern Warfare 2 2009. Now, I'm a super nostalgic guy, especially for this version. I know I'm not alone. The original Call of Duty SCAR rifle, man, this version of the weapon came with some pretty decent damage, but it had a low fire rate when compared to other guns at your disposal. Without stopping power, the Scar H would hit for between 30 and 40. Made it a 3 to 4 shot kill, but using SP would reduce one shot to kill. In pretty much any situation, making a 2 shot kill for a pretty decent distance before dropping to a 3 shot kill, which was still competitive. It fired at an unimpressive 645 rounds per minute, but no recoil, crystal clear iron sights. It made people like it. The 2 shot kill potential up close kept it competitive with SMGs. 3 shot kill potential at longer range kept it competitive with ARs. It was also unlocked at level 8, which was a great choice for leveling up quickly and getting your hands on really good stuff like the ACR. The 2009 SCAR H was a beast. It was only held back by its pathetic 20-round mag. The reload animation, it was, it was kind of long, but it could be canceled pretty easily. Meaning, actually pretty early too. You could use your blue perk selection on Scavenger, fix the ammo problem, but that 20-round mag, it could get you into some serious trouble. But if you knew what you were doing, the SCAR H had a ton of potential. I would say it was a high-tier weapon back in the original Modern Warfare 2. Now we crack into the top three. Nothing but goodness here. The TAC-V in Modern Warfare 2 2022. The SCAR-H returned in the latest Modern Warfare 2, but it was renamed to the TAC-V in order to fit into the new COD universe. I don't like it. Recently, the TAC-V has been uh, starting to make a name for itself in Warzone, and I usually keep these lists limited to multiplayer portions of Call of Duty, but I want to at least mention how busted this thing can be in Battle Royale. Standard MP, things are a tad different, but it's still perfectly viable. Classified as a battle rifle this time around with the amount of power behind every bullet, that makes sense to me. The V is a two-shot kill machine, just like the classic SCAR rifles were, and that makes me nostalgic. It makes my COD heart very happy. The in-game description says Attack V is the best for medium to long-range engagements, but honestly, I think it's pretty insane anywhere. You'll have to mess around with it the gunsmith a little bit because, I mean, it has some pretty obvious flaws by default. When you kit it out, this is one of the best guns in Modern Warfare 2. You can two-shot people from pretty much any distance, and the recoil is actually pretty low for such a hard-hitting weapon, which allows you to use it anywhere. This version of the SCAR is nasty. Don't sleep on it. Because it's labeled as a battle rifle, do not sleep on it. I know the BR category isn't as popular in standard multiplayer, but the TAG-V is worth another look if you passed over. At number two, the SCAR-L in Modern Warfare 3 has to be the most severely slept on version of the SCAR rifle we've ever seen in Call of Duty, and I guess I understand, but it's still upsetting. Compared to its 2009 counterpart, it was much faster, far more versatile, way bigger default mag, made it much more popular for aggressive players. It fired at 760 rounds per minute, which I believe is the fastest of any SCAR in COD history. You can fact check me on that, and it still had potential to kill in two shots. The damage on the scar L was extremely varied, and that can make it feel inconsistent, especially compared to other Modern Warfare guns, the ACR, the MP7. But 
the power it was packing. It was insane. I'm honestly surprised more people didn't talk about it. Aside from the 30-round default mag, solid rate of fire, it had no recoil. It would kill in two to four shots. There were some extreme situations where it could take five shots, but most of the time, you were deleting people very quickly and up close. It could actually outgun some of the more popular rifles, the ACR, the G36C, for up to 20 meters. It was consistently a two to three shot kill there. Great rate of fire, no recoil, clean iron sights. I liked it. And it was unlocked at level six. Made it easily one of the best guns in Modern Warfare 3 for leveling up quickly. I don't know why so many people forgot about it. Maybe it's because it's not as versatile as the ACR or the MP7. But then again, those two guns were completely overpowered, so obviously the SCAR-L wasn't going to live up to that hype. I just think this thing absolutely slapped. And if you used it back in the day, or using it now on plutonium, you probably, I hope you agree with me. But there was one SCAR that was better. I think everybody's going to agree. I think this is going to be a unanimous pick. Unanimous, not unanimous. That's weird. The best SCAR in COD history has to be the SCAR H in Black Ops 2. Yeah, throughout the years, there's been a movement to get people to appreciate the Black Ops 2 SCAR since it didn't get a lot of love back in 2012. At the time of Black Ops 2's heyday, most people were pointing at the AN-94, the M8A1, the M27, I mean, the MSMC, all those, right? But this thing, man, maybe it was because of the rise of COD YouTubers. Maybe it was the popularity of things like Plutonium's project to keep the Golden Age CODs alive. But there is a very, very large piece of the community that is absolutely convinced now that the SCAR was the best gun in Black Ops 2. And I don't agree with that, but I do think it's the best SCAR in COD history. Unlike some other SCAR Assault Rifles, the BO2 version came with a 30-round mag by default, which greatly made up for the long reload animation. And on top of the large default mag, it had one of the fastest reload cancels in COD history. It allowed you to refill your ammo fast. This made for both extended mags and fast mags obsolete. You didn't need them. It allowed you to take other attachments, stock, FMJ. Up close, it would hit for a juicy 45 damage. Would easily deal 50-plus to the head. Made it capable of a two-shot kill if you aimed high and stayed on target. The iron sights, once again, super clear. Recoil, actually pretty low. You could easily laser people from across the map. Mobility, accuracy, damage. Man, I mean, I don't have to sell it anymore. I'm not really sure why the Scar H wasn't the most popular rifle in the game now. I mean, I know the AN-94, I know the M8A1 had more personality or had some unique traits like the variable fire rate, but the Scar was a beast. It hit like a truck. I don't know. If you boot up Black Ops through, through Plut Plutonium right now, there's a lot of people using the Scar. I'm glad it's been getting the attention it deserves because it did not get it back in the day. It did. Not in prime time of Black Ops 2. And there you have it. That's my list of every scar in COD history. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you soon.